It has been a while since I have done any Pokemon product that ended in Fates, and of course, we are doing the Shining Fates. This boy is so big, I struggle to fit the whole thing on camera. We have the Shiny Dragapult VMAX, kind of lean it down there, <laughs> premium collection. Um, yeah, I was really stoked about this thing. It is the same cost as an Elite Trainer Box, fun fact, as a standard Elite Trainer Box. Um... And you actually get one less pack than a standard Elite Trainer box. So the real value comes from the, uh, um, and by standard I mean like the standard 8 pack ones. You, you get the promo Dragapults in here and the coin. So that's the real value from this. I personally think that the, uh, sorry that was loud, that the Elite Trainer boxes are more worth it because you get the storage box and everything else. And for someone like me, the storage boxes are priceless. But... This is pretty sick, and it's a nice display. Like, yeah, these little, you know, ridges cut into it. This isn't the same cheap plastic you usually get from Pokemon Company with a nice black backing to it. Like, it's not bad at all. So, of course, we are going to start off with this beautiful coin. Look at the Dragapult, man. This thing is massive if you compare it to a standard size coin. I actually have Raikou ones from my last video sitting right here on my desk. You can see it is much, it is a much more bigger boy. So, you know, kind of cool to get a larger coin for this uh, collection. Even though I think if I was actually playing the card game, I would probably just stick with the smaller coins. Speaking of the smaller, oh, my lamp is dead. What the hell? There we go. That, that scared me. All right, you give me red now. Uh, speaking of the smaller coins, though, this box does come with something else. So whenever you get uh, promo cards in a Pokemon product, they usually pack it in with these things. And I've shown this on, on video before, but in case some of you guys didn't see that one, you can take a standard size coin and put it in this. This is what kind of holds the promo cards in place. You have to kind of hold it horizontally so you guys can't see it that well. Then you take a second one and you snap it over it. And your coin is now held in place between the plastic. It's a little bit lower than I normally have them. I usually have a bit higher up. But, oh man, I like shot it. Normally they hold it in place very tightly unless you go squeezing it like that. And it protects the coin. It's not terrible. Actually, I kind of like it up high like that. Because you have this little plastic thing on here. Like it's like a warning or whatever, or like a recycle thing, whatever. Um, that kind of covers part of the coin. So up here, it actually isn't bad. But yeah, it's just a way to preserve your coins. So most promo boxes, you only get one of these plastic things. But this one, you get two. So you have a way to preserve a coin that isn't the coin that came with it. So we are going to start off with our promo Rainbow Dragapult VMAX. That is a shiny, shiny boy. Again, it is a promo, so it probably doesn't have a whole lot of value. But it probably has more than most promos, as not only is it Dragapult, but it's from this premium, premium collection that is kind of expensive by itself and not that easy to come by because people are always buying them out. There is the code card for the entire box if you want it. And we have the more standard Dragapult V. Now I'm fairly certain, correct me if I'm wrong, this thing is in the shiny vault. You can pull this from the shiny vault. However, I'm not sure if you can make it out down there, this is a promo card, therefore, it won't affect the value of the regular Shadow, uh, uh, not Shadow, a uh, Shiny Vault card. So, this one is going to have a lower value. I don't expect it to be super low, but it will be lower. Um, but it won't affect the value of the main one. I wish they did that with all of the special cards that come in these. They should always be promo and not part of the set. And again, we have this beautiful display here. I'm just going to just pick up this whole thing. We have the Dragapult VMAX as a big boy card. Um, I don't think I have more than a couple of these like hyper rare like rainbow uh, jumbo cards. So it's kind of nice to add this thing to my collection. Um, this is a big old indent there. Those looks like a really crappy tiny Beyblade Stadium. But of course this big boy is textured just like the smaller version. Uh, centering isn't awful. We have like some beat up edges, but that's usually what you get on these giant cards. Um, I'm just more used to saying awful centering, and this thing isn't bad for being a jumbo. Usually the centering on these things suck, but there you be. But of course, none of you care about that. You came here for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. I mean, maybe some of you guys wanted to see those promos, but honestly, the most, the most fun that comes out of a Pokemon video um, when it comes to more standard products, anyways, is, oh, I just ruined that, 
is always the pack opening itself. At least to me, I'm sure some of, you know, everybody has their, oops. Oh wait, I forgot, it's Shining Fates. The back of the code doesn't matter. They're always silver. Um, so we're gonna do one, two, three to the front. We get rid of our energy, yes. It's been a while, it's been a bit. So we have the Floatzel, the Thawacky, and the Gym Trainers, all of our uncommons. Then we go to our Spinnerack, Horsey, the Morpeko, Morpeko, Coughing, Yanma, Dartrix as a standard reverse. So no shiny vault for our first pack, but we still have a chance for something good on the end. Are you a rare? Why are you a rare? I I was so confused. I thought I messed up and had a uncommon on the back. That is such a boring rare. All right, next pack, we have another, uh, what's his face? I don't know why I can't remember your name now. I, I, I was doing this shiny hunts for you for a while. I can't remember if I got it or not now. It's been a bit. I haven't played Pokemon in months, man. Like, whenever I get into the, like, urge to, oh, I kind of move the microphone a little too far away. Uh, whenever I get into the urge to play Pokemon, like, it gets strong, and I play it like crazy. But then it eventually dies off, and I just don't play it for months. Oh, another Float Soul is uncommon. We have the Ball Guy, rather fitting for our play mat over here. Not that I can really get it on camera well. Um, we have the uh, Trapinch, the Snum, Golosopher, Cacnea, Coughing, and a, once again, just a regular reverse, this time being an Eevee. But it doesn't matter, because on the end, we're going to have a, a, a Celebi. Woo. All right, I know. I know. We're getting bad luck so far, but it's fine. We can come back from this. We can we can come back from this, all right? This isn't going to be how the whole video goes, right? We're not just going to celebrate the, the, the promos and that's it. Like, we're going to get something good in here. God, I can't get these cards out. Okay. Is it just me, or the Shining Fates pack's just so much sturdier? Like, that took me so long to pull that, pull those cards out. I was trying to preserve the pack, but I still had to kind of split it a little bit in the back. So, there is the Tropius, Ball Guy, and Thawacky as all our commons, going to the Morpeko, the Snom, the Horsey, the Nicket. I still love saying that thing's name. We have the regular Eevee here, not as a reverse. I think next is going to be our reverse, though... In the Floatzel, still no luck, but on the end, there we go, we finally get something. We have a hollow Rillaboom. I don't think I have you yet. I might. It has been forever since I've done Shining, uh, Shining Fates, but he looks rather aggressive. I will give him that. All right, now we have another bird boy. I think, we, I think four of our seven packs for this bird. Maybe I'm wrong but I know at least three of them were. Um, so let's go ahead and give you guys the code card. One, two, three, to the front, get rid of the energy. And once again, we have the Tropius and Ball Guy as uncommons, along with Luxio. We have the Grookey, the Horsey, the Coughing, Shinx, Spinnerack, Manaphy as a reverse. Again, not a terrible reverse, but I'm tired of you. I'm tired of reverses. Give me something, something shiny in these packs. We have a hollow frost moth. Now I actually know that I have you. I think you came from my first Elite Trainer Box on Shining Fates. But either way, not complaining about at least getting something. We, o we only, only have three packs left. I mean, I can't complain too much. We did get two hollows, but come on, man. They're just standard hollows. It's nothing to be excited over. Like, I need something from this video, because, like, this this box wasn't that cheap, man. We have the Rusted Shield, the Tropius, and Ball Guys are uncommons. We're getting so many of the same uncommons. We have the Eevee, Grookey, Snom. I believe next is our reverse. Finally! It's not a stellar one, but it is still a Shiny Vault Silicobra. I mean, it's what I don't have, which is pretty often the case, as there are 122 Shiny Vault cards, and then I think a few Secret Raiders in there. So I can't complain too much, but I mean, it's not the best, you know, you know, Shiny Boy, but it's not bad, so I'm happy. And we have the boss's orders. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be satisfied with the hollow, with the 
shiny Sola Cobra and uh, not complain for the rest of the video. That's a lie. I complain way too much. We have the Charizard pack again. Let's open this book up. There is the code card. We, whoops. We do one, two, three to the front. Get rid of our energy. And we have the Rusted Shield, the Dartrix, and Luxio. Going to Glossifer, Eevee, Morpico, Yanma, Choodle, and next, I think, is the reverse. Professor's Reshirts. Man, you were so stellar the first time. But I think I spotted something shining in the back more than once. So let's see what you are. Delhamiz, Delmize, however you are supposed to be pronounced, uh, VMAX. Uh, I never cared for this boy. I actually didn't know that there was a VMAX card of him, which is kind of neat, I suppose. But he's literally just an anchor. I don't know how many people consider him their favorite, or how many people even know how to say his name properly, <laughs> because I clearly don't. I always hear, like, Delhamiz or Delmize. I'm guessing it's like Delmize, but I don't know. Either way, we pulled a uh, a VMAX out of here, so I can't be too upset. It does look pretty cool. And with one pack left, I finally remembered your name. You are Corviknight. <laughs> I'm so dumb, man, because Corviknight was like one of, one of, if not like, I don't know. It's hard to say it was my favorite. I love Inteleon, but it was by far one of my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield. So, I, I should be very ashamed that I forgot its name. How dare I? That should instantly mean that all of you should go and dislike the video and un unsubscribe. Uh, we have the Yanma Glossifer, Eevee, Morpika, Morpeka. Didn't we already pull? Uh, what? I'm sorry. What? That doesn't... That's not supposed to happen in one pack. We just got an error pack. And it's not even one of the cool ones. It's just two of the same common in the same pack. <laughs> what a lame error pack. Like, I, what about what, what would happen if I clickbaited this video and I'm just like, yeah, uh, error pack. We, we, we got one. Like, check it out. This error pack is crazy. And then you get to this point in the video, like a good 10 plus minutes in, and it's just, it's just too Yenma. All right, and... Reverse Rallet, so no more shinies for us. But on the very end, boss's orders. Man, this sucked. All right, it is time for your end of video recap. Starting with the reverses, we got the Rallet, Eevee, Manaphy, Professor's Research, uh, Beazel, Dartrix, going to our Hollows. We had the Frostmoth and the Rillaboom. Then, of course, the promo, beautiful Dragapult V Max with, oh, I just punched the shit out of my camera. My bad. <laughs> With his bigger brother here. Oh my god, why did I do that? Then we have the Dragapult V, our Scylla Cobra, and our Delmize V Max. These, of course, being the best pulls of the video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I will see all of you next time. Goodbye for now.